Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown, and it is Thankful Thursday, and I'm very thankful to be with you guys here today. I got to see the sunrise and get to live another day, and I feel I feel wonderful about that. I'm so grateful to be living another day, get to see another day, spend more time with my kids, with my wonderful wife, and with these horses, and the, the great clients that I have. And I just have a wonderful, beautiful life, and I hope you guys feel the same way about yours. And uh, this morning, I'm riding Goldie. And Goldie, here's Goldie. Goldie is a Palomino Pasofino. And he's probably, so he's a gelding, he's probably about 15 years old or so. We're not sure exactly. They, I think he came from a kill pen, actually. And, uh, and so they rescued him. And he's, he's really a wonderful Pasofino. He is a true Pasofino. He has, he's got a great gait. He's super smooth, wonderful to ride, very fast. And, uh, and his main issue was that he started rearing with his owners. He started rearing and not wanting to leave the property. And they were, they were getting to the point where it just felt really dangerous. He wouldn't move forward. He'd just get stiff, get rigid, and rear up. And so they, they knew they needed some help. So they, they had met me last year and, uh, at a clinic and then decided to bring Goldie to me from Tucson. And I'm very, I love working with Goldie. Goldie is an amazing gelding. And I think he's going to be a wonderful horse for them. I certainly do. Uh, he's doing really well. Now, we've been in the round pen for the last four days. So we started on Monday, and today is Thursday. So this is the fourth day that we've been in the round pen. So I haven't gone outside the round pen. Once I do, he's going to advance really quickly to on the urban and rural trails, and, and we'll get him going. But I'm, what I do in the round pen is I'm looking for holes. I'm looking for holes in his training. And one of the things that he certainly wasn't, very good about is yielding to pressure laterally so if he felt pressure lateral pressure he wants to get stiff throw his head to the outside uh, and get stiff through his entire body from his butt all the way to his neck and so i've just been working on working on lateral flexion and standing still and lateral flexion and moving forward on the ground and and under saddle and he's getting much better at that another thing that he's he struggled with is when i first get on he wants to just race off He's not a horse that's been taught to stand still and be calm when somebody's on him. He's been taught to just move really fast. And, and that's what he has one button and that's go, go, go. He doesn't stop very well and he doesn't bend very well or he hasn't. And he's getting much, much better. He's super smart. He just hasn't had the right training. So I'm really excited to have him for a month. And by the end of this month it is going to be miraculous the way he moves and the, the nice horse that he's going to be. I know this because I see his intelligence and I see his mind. He's got a great mind and he just wants to do. He's very he was eager to please and he wants to do what I'm asking him to do. He just hasn't had the right instruction up to this point. So I, I really I honestly don't think there's going to be one instance where he's going to try to rear up during my training. And if he does, we'll address that. But if you work through some of those issues that they have on the ground and in a round pen in an arena, then once you go, you get to the actual problem, there's no problem. It disappears. Most problems are taken care of once you do the fundamental work with the horses. And, and that's, that's how I get horses to not buck, to not bolt, to not rear, and, and so on and so forth. So I love what I do. Now, today is Thankful Thursday. And what I'm thankful for is the struggle the struggle. I'm thankful for the struggle. And what do I mean, what do I mean by that? You know, it's been proven that stress can kill somebody if they, if they have the wrong attitude about stress. It's been proven that stress does, doesn't have any negative effect on people if they have the right attitude about stress. So if somebody is eager to have stress in their life, if they see it as a positive thing, then they're going to live a long, happy life compared to those who feel like stress is a bad thing. So the struggle is anything that that challenges us every day. If we don't have a challenge, if our muscles, you know, I'm a, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. And by the way, we're creating uh, an exercise program for people, for horseback riding people, uh, to prepare you for horseback riding, not just riding, but also groundwork. So we're in the process of doing that right now. We're really excited to, to disclose that in a couple months. But back to, to exercise and physical therapy, you know, if people, if, if people avoided the struggle, if they avoided the stress that they need to put their muscles under in order to grow, if they avoided running in order to, if they, if they didn't want to run, if they want to get fit, but they're not willing to run, they're not willing to push through that struggle and breathe really deeply and feel their lung, lungs burn and feel, feel their muscles burn and get achy and get tired and get sore, if they're not willing to go through that struggle, they certainly uh, won't grow. Their muscles won't grow. They won't rehabilitate if they have had an injury. 
And, and that's, that is necessary. The struggle is necessary, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, we have to go through struggle in order to grow. So every time you, you sense a struggle in your life, if it's hard to get up in the morning, if it's hard to get up early in the morning, that's a great thing because you're, it's a struggle. And if you do it in the midst of the struggle, if you do it, if you do it hard, even though it is hard, then you're going to grow. And that's, that's the message I wanted to, to talk about today. I love the struggle. I'm thankful for the struggle. And I'll be honest, there are times when I don't, I don't like the struggle, but I want to tell you I'm thankful for the struggle because it is the struggle that helps us grow in our life. And whatever, whatever facet of life you want to grow in, you have to struggle in order to grow, in order to be better. Remember, uh, Jim Rohn said, don't ask for things to be easier ask for yourself to be stronger. Ask to be stronger. Don't ask for it to be easier. Ask to be stronger. How can I get stronger to overcome this, this struggle? And then guess what? When you do, you get, do get stronger, you're going to find other struggles. There'll be other struggles. Struggle is a part of life. It's a part of growth. And if we're not growing, then we're not going to be fulfilled in life. So in order to grow, we have to have struggle. So be thankful for this struggle. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember, be thankful live with passion, live with purpose, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.